to the point where I switch colors again. But normally when I'm switching either one or both colors, I would cut the end, tuck the tail, switch the color, and move on. But this color change is only going to be woven for three quarters of an inch. And then I switch back to the same two colors, the green and the blue. So what I'm going to do in this instance is I am going to carry the uh, color that I'm not going to be using, which in this case is the uh, green, the kiwi, and I'm going to carry it up the side and uh, it will just be wrapped like the floating selvages and you won't be able to see it. So I thought I would uh, demonstrate that technique. So I'm going to continue weaving with the uh, Persian blue or the Persian peacock and instead of the kiwi I'm going to be using the brown. So my, pe uh, my kiwi is going to sit here, I'm going to start my brown, And then when I take the Persian peacock uh, back through, I am going to make sure that I um, wrap it in such that it's going to capture the green here. This is kind of one of the challenges of using multiple shuttles is that when you pass the shuttle back and forth at the salvage you need to either carry uh, the next shuttle over or under the weft thread that just came out. And so we are going to, typically, uh, there's kind of a set um, pattern of how that works, but I want to make sure that I get um, the green captured in there too. There we go. So it's going to be a little bit fiddly for the first uh, few times until I kind of figure out the sequencing. To make sure that that green gets covered up.
if I wasn't doing um, such a short run of this one stripe, I would not do this.